Hey there, it's Victoria with Team B of At Properties. Um, thanks so much for joining us this evening, this very, very cold, frigid evening. I am joined uh, by Max from Property Tax Fox, and we are going to be discussing and let's talk about these crazy property taxes that we have here in our lovely state of Illinois, um, which are the, what, First or second highest in the country. Second highest, yeah, second yeah. hundred. It's, uh, we're always in neck and neck with New Jersey. Yeah. So, um, you know, we've all gone through the painful process of appealing property taxes either on our own or through attorneys or going in front of the board. Um, and hi, Cindy. Thanks for joining. Um, I myself last November decided to take it upon myself to do all the research. I have all the data at my fingertips. I have all the comps and pull comps for my home. And I went in front of the Cook County Board of Appeals and appealed my own property taxes. Um, it was a very, very long, painful process. It took me hours and hours to actually pull together all the comps. And then um, I went in front of the Cook County Board of Appeals. I don't know yet if I was successful or not. I spent a full day, took the train down, met with some lovely people from the county. Um, but, you know, would I do it again? I'm not sure. Um, so, so, Max, you have a better um, version of this oh and i just realized our mic's not plugged in sorry now the mics are plugged in and maybe you can hear us there we go sorry about that so so max give us a little background on, on who you are and where you come from and what you do all right thanks victoria my name is max toliaroff i'm a co-founder of property tax fox uh my background in software engineering real estate investing and property taxes i've been doing this for quite a while and with my experience in the real estate i realized that Property taxes is an integral part of real estate, regarding if you're the investor, if you're the homeowner, um, if you're real estate professionals, property taxes is something that always puzzling to people and something that always give uh, trouble to uh, individual homeowners. And it's your second most expense, highest expense with owning a home, right? Your mortgage is number one and property taxes is number two, at least in our state. Um, so keeping that on in check and and uh, you know more reasonable certainly helps uh, reduce all of our expenses, our monthly expenses. Exactly, uh, property taxes are uh, the biggest chunk of your uh, uh, mortgage uh, payments every month, except in uh, after interest. Right. And so right. if after you keep your property, yeah, if you keep your property taxes in, in check or you buy the property with low property taxes, your mortgage statement will be lower. Right. For um, sure. And that's really helps you to keep your uh, bottom line uh, right. low, uh, you know, for, more reasonable. More and reasonable we've got every thanks, month, Leah yeah. and Alex and Andrea. Thanks, guys, for joining us tonight. Appreciate it. Gives us give us some some love and some thumbs up. Um, so why don't we dive into how your company is sort of different from say an attorney or different from what I did when I appealed my own and what exactly, um, you know, as Alex just said, how do we, how do we get them lowered? All right. That's a great question. Um, to get them lower, uh, I always tell uh, my clients appeal, appeal and appeal, appeal okay. every time uh, it's possible for you and you have a case. And it's more than once every three years. Yeah. You can and appeal it can be every year. You can do it actually every uh, twice a year. Okay. Um, oh, you can appeal your property taxes twice a year? Yeah, you can appeal your oh. property taxes wow. twice a year. Okay. In, in Cook County, there are two agencies that handle appeals, Cook County Assessor and Cook County Board of Review. Okay. You not necessarily have to go to one agency. You can appeal with both. Okay. If you start early and you try to do it uh, all the time, you go to the assessor. If you like the outcome um, and they lower your taxes quite a bit, you don't have to go to the board of review. I think I went to the board of review downtown. Yeah, yeah. Both yeah, agencies are downtown. Yeah. Both agencies okay. are downtown. Okay. But if you decided that the assessor did not give you enough reduction, or you forgot, or didn't have time to apply right. with the assessor, you can always go to the board of review on your own uh, and appeal your property taxes that way. Right, and that's what I did. Yes, and the Very last time thing, and the last thing, if you appeal with pro uh, property taxes with board of review and you still don't like the decision of okay. the board of review, you can always go to state of Illinois property tax appeal board. It's a longer process. 
but it gives the uh, it sounds property so pillars. It is. Oh, it's, it's, God. A, it's much more paperwork that you have to fill out. Oh, but, and do, uh, where, where, do you have to go to Springfield? No, no, you just mail it. No, oh, you, but okay. you have to do it within 30 days after you receive the decision letter. Um, I don't know about you, but this is not my full time job. Like, yeah. <laughs> I've got other things that I need to do. That's, that's exactly why we started this company. Oh, gosh. In order to help the homeowners to provide them answers. Everybody right. wants to appeal and reduce their property taxes, but sure. this amount of work that you have to do to figure it's out ridiculous. is ridiculous. Yes. And so with our solution, we are hoping to change the situation and let people figure out where they stand when it comes to property taxes instantly from the comfort of their own home instantly, or by talking Risky. to uh, real estate professionals right. like Victoria. Right. So Ken and Jackie and Jen, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, give us some love and some thumbs up. Um, all right, so how did, what's the process like for me as an individual that wants my property tax, taxes appealed through your company? How does that work? Uh, well, first of all, you can contact a real estate professional like Victoria. Right. And so if you're interested in doing this, you can send me an email or a private message. So it's victoria at atproperties.com, two T's, no C, or instant message me, and I can hook you into, um, you know, with Max, and I can actually help run your uh, property taxes as well. Yeah, uh, Victoria, you can uh, use our platform. I have a portal. He yes. set me up with a portal. Yes. It's very exciting. Uh, you can use our portal to run a property tax analysis for the sell site or buy site analysis okay. uh, for your clients, uh, generate a report okay. that shows uh, what's the, the fair potential tax, savings. potential savings on the okay. property taxes. Right. Um, and this way, and then, then provide this report to the homeowner. And this is a very comprehensive report that shows the property tax savings possible. Uh, not it's, it's not guaranteed, but okay. you know if they exist and, and exemptions and also the instructions. Okay, so yeah, so with the instructions, what do we do? So I get this PDF or this report. Uh, do I have to then go and appeal, or like how does that all work? Um, this is actually the homeowner. Uh, the homeowners themselves we can use uh, follow instructions in okay. the report to go to our site, okay. www.propertytaxfox.com and uh, file the report okay i'll uh, file the appeal so uh, i can generate the report and then they use the instructions on the report to go and file the appeal through your company so yes. you guys are actually the ones that are filing with the county yes not yes the homeowner yes. not me exactly it's done by you the professionals exactly yes okay. uh, our company automated the whole property tax analysis and appeal process for the homeowners in cook county okay and this way it's very simple for the homeowner when they are ready when they have five minutes and i always tell you can do it every time uh, after you put your kids to sleep. Yeah. Uh, just go online, uh, enter the information okay. from the report, uh, and purchase your appeal. Okay. Uh, all the documents will be emailed to you. You can sign and upload them back into your okay. account. So everything uh, can be signed digitally and done digitally. Uh, for the most part, for right now, part. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, and so, what? How? How do they pay you? What's the cost? Is it like you know, with regular attorneys? Um, you pay them a percentage of your savings over the course of three years. Yes. Now, that's fine and dandy, but like when I go to sell a house, for example, um, if if my owner, my seller, has appealed the property taxes, um, they won't know until probably the home is closed. And at that point, he hasn't paid the attorney, and he doesn't know what his savings is. So it's because everything's done in arrears. It, it's not very conducive to a seller that wants to sell their home and provide a lower property tax for a buyer. Yes. Um, and it was a really big deal three years ago. The last appeals year, you know, the big appeal year um, or the reassessment year, I should yes. say, where a lot of my clients didn't pay attention, and all of a sudden their property taxes were shooting up from seventeen thousand to twenty-five thousand. And we put it on the market and I couldn't get buyers to purchase because they were freaking out about the property taxes. Yes. So it was a really big issue. And then this year in 2019 is also another, my understanding, another reassessment, year, reassessment year, yes. year. So, so with your company though, it's all done sort of ahead of time, right? It's paid for exactly. it's run. Um, uh, using the technology and uh, since we automated most of the processes, we're able to keep the cost down for, uh, for the homeowners. Our, we have a flat fee appeal structure. Okay. The homeowner pays up front. Okay. And they don't have to pay anything afterwards. Okay. Uh, they keep all the savings, whatever the savings so it's are. It's not a percentage base. No. It's based on um, 
the savings. And what is sorry, what is the what is the cost then? So if the homeowner, uh, this our standard fee for the appeal is four hundred dollars. Okay, four hundred. But not bad. Uh, going through the uh, realtors like you, okay. Victoria, uh, you get a discount. Immediately, you get a discount of hundred dollars. So oh, the total good. cost for the appeal is three hundred dollars, wow. and that's it. Wow, three hundred dollars. So that's if you really say good. if you're saving uh, two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars, sixteen thousand dollars, you're still paying three hundred dollars. You're not we're not taking any penny more. And the most important part is we give you a guarantee that we're gonna continue appeal your taxes until we get you the reduction. Oh, okay. without you paying anything extra for, for the follow-ups. Um, so, so say you guys are unsuccessful on the first time that you appeal, yes. um, you know, through your system. Um, what do I need to do as a homeowner to make sure that it, it continuously gets appealed? Like, how, how's that? Work? You don't have to do anything. Thanks uh, for your likes yeah. and loves. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, you don't have to do anything. We take care of the whole process. We monitor your taxes and we continue to appeal to different uh, agencies, uh, sometimes uh, for the second year, um, on our own. Okay. We don't need to do anything. We'll, we'll do everything for you and we're not going to ask you for any more money until we get you the reduction. Got it. Okay, we've got some questions. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks, guys. My, it wasn't yeah. scrolling up. Hi, Doug and Lil and Romana. Nice to see you, Romana. Um, so Jennifer says great information, which mm -hmm. it is very great information. And Leah would like to know what your success rate is. Our success rate is about 86% right now. Uh, standard, uh, there's, uh, last year there was an article in uh, Chicago Tribune that literally said that the attorneys, when they appeal, yeah. their success rate is about 53%. And what? The, really? Yeah. And the success rate for the homeowners is actually 56%. It's so than so homeowners have a higher success rate Sometimes, than attorneys? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's because attorneys are doing it in bulk. And they, I mean, I've, when I was there, there was a guy there, an attorney had a stack of papers this big, and he was going through them all. And I know he was an attorney, to, you know, it, it was crazy. So I, I'm assuming that, that sometimes things get missed or, or it's just hard to manage that many appeals at once. Um, but when you do it, an automated way it's uh, I would think more accurate well first of all yeah uh, it's more accurate because our platform can actually analyze thousands of properties uh, instantaneously mm. so when we go uh, based on uniformity approach right. and appeal taxes you have to find the best comparables in your immediate right uh, neighborhood. I know because it took me a really long time to go through what do we have I don't know 250 houses probably in my little tiny subdivision of Southgate alone and I looked through all of them all yeah. of them and yeah. that alone took me about three hours and that was just my little subdivision yeah um, so uh, yes Doug I agree everyone should absolutely do this it's imperative um, and then uh, Liliana hi uh, from Chicago wants to know um, if if you can appeal my property taxes multiple times do I have to pay every time you appeal like you, you had said Earlier. Uh, usually the uh, uh, single fee will cover you uh, for, for the whole year. Oh, for the year. Okay, if, so it's... And, it's the... and like I said, it's only if we get you the reduction. If we don't get you enough reduction or, uh, you know, or don't, uh, don't get the reduction at all right. for, for some reason, okay. you don't have to pay. We're going to appeal multiple times okay. uh, on it. your own, uh, on your behalf. Got it. You don't have to do anything. So but Doug if we missed do... how much it costs. So it's 400 if you go direct, if you go through me, it's three hundred. You get a hundred dollar yeah. discount, so it's really super reasonable. Um, yes, eighty six percent success rate too. Hi, Will and Joanna. Nice to see you guys. Um, so, so one, so it's a cost of three hundred a year, and you appeal them multiple times until hopefully you win. Essentially, yes, yes. Right. Okay. Yes, and like I said, our application is able to. Uh, so it's like it's, it's like AI. It's like artificial intelligence. Yes. You guys are churning thousands of comps and homes and 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 um, data. You know, in the speed of light compared to what a human can do. Exactly. Do most attorneys uh, that that appeal these have these kinds of systems at their hand? Like what? Some, some of the attorneys do have the systems. Maybe not uh, as sophisticated. But no, not as sophisticated. We already went through the, uh, this uh, quite number of times. Um, 
but and a lot of times uh, a lot of the appeals are handled manually by the paralegals oh, uh, for okay. quite a few so uh, quite a few law it. firms that there's definitely I mean, some that you're trying to develop similar systems right 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 that makes sense how yeah. long did it take you to develop your system uh, <laughs> good question years, good question right? yeah it actually took me two and a half years to develop the wow. system wow yes. it's a lot of time yes it's a lot of time and and and, and Pouring all your 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 yeah, it's time. literally twenty four seven. That's yeah. what I had to do twenty four seven to develop this application. Okay, great. So I have an example of um, that uh, where I have a seller in Park Ridge on Dempster. Uh, it's a nice home. It's it's listed for five hundred ninety nine thousand, and the taxes are about what are we twenty three thousand yeah, twenty two and some change. Okay. Makes no sense. Again, it, it's a really nice house, but it doesn't, it, the taxes should be more along 15 to 18,000. But because they're 24,000 and, and my poor seller has had single mom, bunch of kids, no success, just, I mean, no success in appealing them. It just has had a really hard time. It's made it difficult for me to sell the property because the first thing buyers look at is the property taxes. And so I gave Max all of the information and he ran the uh the, the address and all of the information through through your system yes. and um it, you know it, it what it did was it gave me a pdf with all of the breakdowns and it said what was the savings it, it, that we think it could go down to about seventeen thousand yes. per year instead of 2024 20, and that the overall savings was going to be like twelve thousand yeah. dollars in the course of three years yeah something like that so huge like huge savings so this is not only going to help my seller but it's also going to help me and um i i can i can present this to potential buyers because it's an official document it's got you know all all of the information it's a pdf and i could say here mr and mrs buyer look this is what the property taxes really should be which are more reasonable and you know you can move forward with purchasing the home because because it will be it would be less by the time you you close exactly on it. exactly uh, this was actually a very interesting situation and uh, um, the property taxes were uh, really a problem for the uh, for the seller uh, for the seller they couldn't sell the property uh, the ability for us to analyze the property taxes quickly and provide the report showed that homeowner doesn't really need to spend any money trying to appeal their property taxes before the purchase because the uh, um, buyer, right. b the buyer of the property, would be able to do uh, the tax appeal very easily okay. right after the purchase. So with this report and analysis, we're able to save the homeowner money. Okay, we're able to uh, put the property back on the market. Right, and uh, most of the questions uh, will be eliminated uh, for the buyer when it comes to property taxes. Got it. They can call us uh, anytime, and we're going to explain why and how. We came up with that reduction and what is that, and, uh, got it. Uh, you know, how they can make it happen. Okay, so we've got, yeah. hi Maya and Larissa and Ken, thanks for joining. Um, Ken wants to know um, approximately what percent of reduction is reasonable to expect? Uh, usually it it's, I mean, it's it, actually it, does. Um, it's, it's a very good question because uh, Cook County Assessor and sometimes Board of Review, um, they don't like to give you 100% reductions right. from, from what you see because ultimately when you go based on uniformity, it's still like an appraisal. It's somebody's opinion that this is how much your taxes should be versus okay. what they are right now. Uh, in our cases, we see that about 40 to 45% appeals get exactly what we ask for. Oh. Everything else is uh, about 70 to 80% what we ask for. Okay. Okay, usually in most cases, that's still a very good amount uh, in reduction. Um, and then we can pick it back on the uh, on success of others around uh, the same property and try to appeal it further. Got it. So okay. So um, Larissa wants to know: uh, Does it matter what county you live in? Uh, yeah. It does uh, right it's, now. It, it, for right now, it does. Right now, our service is only in Cook County, mm -hmm. but we're working on uh, getting on board, expanding. expanding, going to Lake County, Will County, and, and okay. other counties. Okay, so yeah, Larissa, right now counties. it's Cook County. Then he, he how, how quickly you think you'll be launching in Lake County? I really trying to get it, but sometime? yeah, this year. Okay, this so maybe year back by into summer. The year, yeah, and then um, and then expanding out from there because exactly. this is, you know, a huge process, and I'm sure. Um, every county is different in, in the way that they analyze and, and 
want to see their data, right? It's, it's not more of a data analysis per se, okay. but it's more of actually data integration. Oh, integration. All the, all, okay. all the counties have data in different formats, different files. It has ah. to be the whole process of getting okay. the data into the software so it can be effectively used by our platform. Got it. Yes. Got it. Okay, great. Um, well, thanks for all the likes and the loves. I appreciate yeah. that. Let's see if there's any other questions here. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so um, someone had asked me uh, yesterday, what are the best months to appeal your property taxes? Well, because, you know, certain counties yeah. like Northfield Township and not counties, townships, certain townships are open at certain times of, yes. year, uh, of the month or, or of the year. Yes. So, for example, if Northfield Township was my township, if it doesn't open until April, mm. you know, do I need to pay attention to that? Do I need to wait until... April to do this or like you know what's that is how does it work as far as timing goes uh, I think I would not really uh, try to time yourself it's like timing the market <laughs> right uh, so timing like, any kind of market the stock yeah, market the real stock, estate market's any, not possible. Any market it's, yeah. it's impossible versus you know a lot of people uh, try to do that and there is a schedule on Cook County Assessor's website okay. and on the board of review website on our website there is a schedule but so we need to pay attention to that and like you know what I would suggest not to. If you run the analysis and you know there's a possibility for you to do an appeal okay. and lower your taxes through the appeal, go ahead and purchase it. We'll monitor it for you. We're oh, already gonna so have you this. you submit it at the proper time. We were gonna submit so it. So even at the if proper I submit mine now in January, but but say Northfield is until April. You'll submit it in exactly. April on my behalf, and I don't need to worry about that. Exactly. Okay. And our okay. system actually has notification built in. So anytime the status and your appeal changes, the notification will actually go out to you and tell uh -huh. you the application, the appeal was submitted, uh, decision pending, or the decision was and that, received. And that comes to me uh, via email? Yeah, okay. directly on the email. So okay. you don't have to live by the schedule okay. of, the, That's your of job. each township. That's it's your my job. job. That's why it's we're my paying job. you the big bucks. Exactly. Go on vacation. Enjoy right. your kids. Uh, take leave it property taxes to us. Right, right. Okay, yeah. great. So thanks, everyone. Uh, is there anything else you think we need to know about this process? I think it's important to know, well, not to the process itself, or, but really that a Northern Township are going to be reassessed this year. Okay. Uh, it's very important. Northern Cook County. Northern Cook County. Okay, we'll so be all reassessed the this County. year. Yes. Got it. Okay. Based on the uh, previous experience with uh, Central uh, Cook County and Southern Cook County, okay. we expect increase of 20 to 30 percent this year. Oh, God. Um, so it, pay is attention. That in our counties too. Yes. Yes. So please okay. keep, uh, uh, yeah. you know, uh, look, look for the letters from Cook County Assessor and make okay. sure you react quickly when you get it. Okay. Um, the other thing is that Cook County Assessor already started the tax season by mm -hmm. mailing out uh, the exemption notices oh, right. to homeowners, especially for seniors. And please. So if you have parents that live in yes. the area too, it's really important to pay attention to this for them because I know mine aren't always looking at that stuff and they're exactly. like they throw on the garbage. They don't pay attention, but they could end up losing their senior exemption, which is Yeah, well, not only the senior exemption, they may actually lose their homeowner's oh. exemption if they don't apply for senior because it's one application. It's one form. Oh, okay. So that's the that. usually if you if you don't qualify for it and you have a homeowner's exemption, it's going to renew automatically unless you just recently purchased the property. But if you uh, are, if you are a senior and you live at Cook County and you got the application and you kind of ignore it, it's My very possible. Sorry. I thought I uh, it's very possible that uh, you know your homeowner's actually will be removed because you forgot to apply. Right. We can always help you even after the fact, after the oh, deadline. Yes. So if my mom and dad forgot to take their senior exemption, y you can you can do that on their exactly. behalf afterwards. Exactly. Exactly. We can do it okay. after it. We can okay. do it even after the uh, uh, second installment. Okay. But then you're going to actually receive the check in the mail from the okay. county. Got it. Uh, it's just important to remember because usually people would just say, oh, my taxes went up and this is not even a reassessment right. year. And the most common reason is you forgot to apply for the exemption okay. or so they pay attention to your exemptions because yes. those things do just go away as well. I mean, exactly. Um, exactly. Okay, great. So hi, Ashley and Larissa. Thanks for joining. Okay. Um, and yes, Doug, you can save an extra hundred dollars. So uh, what I would recommend is, is um, send me a uh, personal message, um, PM me in Facebook or email me. Uh, my work email is victoria at atproperties.com. I'll put it in the post here when we're finished. Um, and I'll also send Max's information. And then um, 
I can, oh, I'll need your, I'll need your email address and then I'll need your, your actual property address. I'm going to be doing this for all of my past clients for the last five years. So if you are someone that bought or sold a home with me, I have all of your information and then I will be processing that through Max and yes. sending you guys PDFs of your potential savings automatically. So if you're a past client of mine, that's going to be happening for you automatically. If you're not uh, a past client, then uh, feel free to, like I said, email me or personal message me with your ad email address and your regular address, Cook County only right now, unfortunately, and then we'll um, put it through Max's system to see what kind of savings that you can get. Exactly. Okay, and then you can reach out to Max and, and just follow the instructions. Super easy to actually have them appeal. Um, exactly. Yeah, any questions, uh, don't hesitate to call us. We. Uh, the most important part is you. Uh, the homeowners have to be comfortable and they have to understand the process. Okay. Before we answer all of your questions, you know, call us. Okay, we'll, so we're here for Alex that. wants to know, can you help seniors freeze their taxes? Is that something you're able to do with yeah. your organization? Yes. Oh, good, so it's, yeah. not just the, it's not just appealing them, but freezing them over the age of? It's over the age of 65, okay. and you should have, uh, if the senior has income under 65,000 a year, Okay. So if you make under sixty five thousand a year and you're a senior citizen over sixty five, then then max under sixty is, under sixty. I'm sorry, under no over sixty five. Over sixty five years old. Oh my god. And, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so then I over sixty five. Yes, over sixty five <laughs> okay. years old. Over and 65. Under sixty five thousand. Yes. Oh, okay. Over sixty five years, under sixty five thousand. Yes. Max's organization can also um, help you. Your you and or your mom and dad or your loved ones appeal and get a senior freeze, which is amazing because um it, it, that really helps a lot for sure yeah, especially for uh, for seniors because um over the years it prevents you from getting those uh huge uh ridiculous property tax increases in assessment right and that's why your tax uh tax savings will grow and grow and grow and plus what we can also do if we know that you qualified for the exemptions yeah. like for the past three years, but okay. you forgot to apply. Yeah, we do can they actually, retro? And will we they... can do it. We can give you a refund oh. for the past three years. Oh, the county will actually refund. Yes, you? the county oh, will wow. actually refund. Sometimes it can be, uh, you know, four years. Sometimes three, but you can get the money back. Okay. And because the average homeowner's exemption is eight hundred dollars, and senior and senior fees are much more. Okay. You literally wind up receiving a check for thousands of dollars. Oh, okay, good. So for your loved yeah. ones that are over the age of sixty-five and make under sixty-five thousand. Um, there's potentially thousands of dollars of savings, and exactly. if they've forgotten, he can go back. You can go back up to three years. To Definitely. Do this. Okay. Definitely. Great. Okay. Wonderful. Well, thank you all for joining us um, for Let's Talk Property Taxes. Uh, next week, I will be going through the home buying, home selling process, um, and, and talking to people how to do that in tandem. Because a lot of people are like, I have to sell my house, and I need to buy a house. How do I do that all at the same time? So I'll be explaining that whole process. But um, thanks, Max, so much for joining us. Thanks, Victoria, and for I'll having me. And I'll put all the information here in uh, Facebook uh, for you guys to follow up if you'd like. All right? Stay warm. And thanks again. I'm Victoria with uh, Team V of At Properties. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Max, once again, from Property Tax Fox. Okay. Stay warm. Stay warm. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.